November 22, 2011, the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Sciences and Technology, which only yesterday announced that the cesium contamination of the Pacific Ocean at 5,000 meters deep, disclosed the results of their simulation of dispersion of radioactive cesium on the surface of the Pacific Ocean. Now they tell us that the contaminated water from the Fukushima nuclear power plant accident may have reached the international date line in four to five months after the accident. That would be in the July-August time frame. The map is cut off at the international date line as if all the researchers carried as if that's all the researchers cared about. After all, they are our government research in this government agency for the Japanese. But rest assured, as the researchers and the reporters all say, there will be no effect on health. Well, whose health? Water contaminated with radioactive materials from Fukushima nuclear power plant has spread to the international dayline, about 4,000 kilometers east of Japan. That is the simulation result announced by the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Sciences and Technologies. Well, the simulation uses cesium-137 density. It is less than one two-thousandth of safety standard for drinking water, uh, 200 becquerels per liter post-Fukushima, but it is more than 10 times as much as that before the accident. The researchers, uh, led by Y. Masumoto, used the densities of radioactive materials measured in the ocean near the Fukushima 1 nuclear power plant to simulate the dispersion, considering various factors, including ocean convection. Highly contaminated water leaked from the pit near the water intake canal at Fukushima after the accident. According to the simulation, the contaminated water first spread along the coast and gradually spread offshore. It is further dispersed in the complex movement of the uh, Kurishu current and uh, the Washu current and has reached the international date line in four to five months after the accident, according to the simulation. Uh, the research say there would there would not have been much difference in dispersion if they had assumed that the radioactive materials dispersed in the atmosphere had fallen on the ocean. As the end of November, the density of radioactivity cesium-137 would be 0.1 to 0.1 becquerel per liter, or one two hundredth or one two thousandth to one two twenty thousandth of the standard for drinking water that is the Ministry of Health set, and these are the new uh, health standards. They're way inflated. Um, survey of the Ministry of Education shows several becquerels per liter of radioactive cesium in the seawater near Fukushima 1 plant. Uh, the number from the are lower, but they are still 10 to 100 times as much as the pre-accident levels. Effects of marine life should be monitored carefully. No kidding. Well, what does the drinking water standard for humans have to do with the cesium-137 density in the middle of the Pacific Ocean? What about for plankton and fish, and that stuff is heading towards Hawaii and the west coast of the United States. Uh, Yomori Shinbun has the number much higher than uh, Ashi. The paper says there are locations with 1 to 5 becquerels liters cesium-137 in the simulation. The most befall between 0 0.01 and 0 0.5 becquerels per liter. That's 10 to 5,000 times the pre-accident, um, says this guy. But then the, the chart puts up does not have the legend to figure out the density. All oh, the reporters, I'm looking for this particular paper, but so far, unsuccessful. And uh, this just goes to prove that the, the radioactivity is spreading through the Pacific Ocean and it's heading towards the United States. Um, they've tracked it as far as the International Day Line and they decided not to track it anymore. So. Heads up, and again, I just wanted to take note of this. We all know this is going on, so uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Have a beautiful day.